So thank you, Kiss, for attending Canary Recipes. We are very, very happy to get you as a speaker for this edition. Uh, this is the first time you, you went uh, with us, so we are very proud of it. Um, so the idea of this video is trying to, to share with the people watching this video uh, who is Kiss Cook, what he's doing, how you went into the, the kind of development, what is bringing you to that, uh, what brings your passion every day, what makes you uh, getting at work with a smile. So this is a main concept. Um, so maybe let's start from the beginning. What was your first inspiration or motivation to be part of the Linux kernel community? Um, it actually goes, goes back pretty far. Um, I had, uh, when I went into university, um, I was still using MS-DOS as the main operating system, but um, it didn't have particularly good networking support. And everything was connected uh, in school. So, you know, put 13 disks of Slackware in and got, you know, early Linux running. Yeah. Um, and just having, I don't know, having that experience and, you know, seeing it develop over time, you know, as, because at that point I was just a user of it. Um, I just thought it was a fascinating model. And I, you know, looked at device drivers, I looked at file systems, I looked at all these different pieces and it, it just seemed like a, a, a fun puzzle, a, a really interesting way of getting things done, you know, it was, it was free software, like all these things uh, contributed to, to have my, my interest level uh, raised for it. Um, becoming a kernel developer was, you know, sort of accidental, sort of intentional, like I tried, I, I wanted to do that work. But you know, how do you get to that path? Uh, and it was it was a little tricky. Um, I went through systems administration first, and uh, and kept you know kept working on things on the side um, until I started doing more and more um, development work. Um, and then when I joined uh, Canonical uh, to work on Ubuntu, um, there was a lot more programming, a lot more security work, and. Uh, as I made my way through various portions of the whole Ubuntu stack, um, I kept coming back to the kernel as an area that I saw things I wanted to do, and I just kept kept picking away at it uh, until that slowly shifted to being my, my entire responsibility. Uh, when, when I moved to Google, um, there was a, a focus on, on more security work uh, at, at the kernel level. And um, as... <laughs> I think this is the same story from all maintainers as they accidentally became a maintainer of some system, subsystem because they touched it last. <laughs> um, so in addition to doing security work in the kernel, I've, you know, I've also I've taken over maintainership of a couple smaller areas that sort of weren't getting as much attention as they, they should have, but you know, like Chrome OS was using uh, PStore very heavily. Um, and, and so I you know, kept doing more and more work in it until the, the piece their maintainer at the time was like, hey, do you want to share responsibility with this? Um, and that sort of continued to grow. Uh, so it was pretty organic and half accidental, uh, kind of a long path. <laughs> okay. And um, maybe for many people, especially those newcomers, speaking about security could be received as it's a big thing, it's, for, it's a serious stuff. We cannot go like that. I mean, it have to be done by professional people. But how can, what would be your advice to break this ID for the newcomers? I mean, if someone wants to do some security because they're interested in, what would be your recommendation to make them feeling comfortable to do so and to join the effort as you are, you are doing today? Um, yeah, I've, I've s a lot of people ask this, like, how do I, how do I get involved? How do I, you know, where do I look to, uh, to start doing security work? And my sort of standing advice has been, uh, get involved with something you're interested in. Like what, what part of the whole landscape is, is interesting to you and sort of dig into that to figure out if there's more to do. Um, if there's anything that stands out as being a, you know, something you, you wanna see improve or uh, you know, along those lines, you just sort of uh, dig in, ask questions, introduce yourself to people. Uh, like on, on, the, on the kernel hardening mailing list, I just tell people like say hi and talk about what you're interested in, what you want to help with, and if you don't know, just ask, and we've got random ideas and thoughts, uh, and just sort of, I guess, you know, 
join join the community even if you don't really think you're part of it and just say hi and, and go from there. Uh, I think a lot of people tend to be uh, overly shy when it comes to that and you just, just dive in. So you, so you consider that the security part is not different than the other part of the Linux kernel then? Um, not, not as far as getting started. Um, not as far as making contributions and these things. There's sort of, you know, there's mechanical differences in how, you know, for example, if you work on device drivers, you're in a very narrow part of the code. Um, there's a really well-defined way for code to go in and how it gets, you know, all the way up to Linus. Uh, security frequently tends to span the entire tree of source codes. That, that has challenges as far as getting it into upstream, but, you know, that's what I try to help people with. Um, but the sort of getting up to speed, learning about stuff, I think that's really the same everywhere. Um, it's, you know, people sort of look at security and say, oh, this is magical, scary stuff. And it's like, well, no, it's, everything is magical, scary stuff. You go far enough into any topic and you'll see, you know, very complex stuff. Um, you know, I don't know anything about how the scheduler works in, in the kernel. Like, that's, that's really uh, black magic as far as I'm concerned. Um, uh, but if you if you really dive in, uh, you can understand it. Um, can you share with us what are your next challenges or maybe the next uh, topics that you are looking at or you are interested in? What is uh, the future for Cook in the following months, maybe? Um, there's there's a lot of stuff uh, in I mean in, in security in the security tree of things we want to get done. Uh, there's still quite a bit to do, I'd say. Um, one area I've been trying to look at is how to make sure we've got per architecture uh, features. Like, there's a lot of stuff that got implemented that is, you know, uh, Intel, like x86 specific. There's a lot of stuff that's ARM specific. And, you know, how does this compare for, you know, ARM32 versus ARM64 uh, versus PowerPC? Um, you know, there's, there are a lot of architectural differences, uh, and the coverage for some of these features is missing in certain in various different architectures. Um, and trying to get that the same across the entire span, uh, I think is much more, uh, it's, it's compelling. Um, there's been a lot of talk recently about uh, sort of defaults. Um, uh, traditionally, and like I said about how it can be difficult to get changes into the kernel that are the security layer, um, one of them is having stuff off by default. Uh, just because this doesn't upset anyone and at least the feature is in so that someone can turn it on if they want it um, but we're seeing more and more people saying hey I, I just want this on I want this available all the time um, so looking at ways to, to organize the the options and turn stuff on by default and do those sorts of things there's there's uh, quite a bit of work there um, and I could get into individual little features but, uh, but I think that's the overall okay. uh, span of, of things I'd like to see coming soon. Okay, so thank you, Keith, for joining this uh, very short interview. Thank you for being one of the speakers of uh, this edition of Canal Recipes. Yeah, we appreciate it a lot. <laughs> it's uh, very nice to, to meet you physically because we've never been before. Yeah. So it's very nice. We enjoy your work. It was very nice to follow your presentation. And uh, let's hope to see you next year at uh, the next edition of Canal Recipes. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. <laughs>